Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show how to put a uh, oil and water combo chart together. We uh, get a lot of requests where people would like to uh, show a tank level that has both oil and water in it. And so this is a, a video showing you how to make such a uh, design. One rule or one idea to keep in mind is that the oil will always be on top or higher than the water level. So if you have a tank stick and you got two floats on it, the top one is going to be the oil and then the bottom lower one will do the water level. So first of all, if you look here in my example, I've got over here in data tags on the left hand side, I've created two tags, one called oil level and one called water level. You'll notice here that uh, I'm on the, uh, my pointer tool is going to work, I'm on the format tab here and I've got set up my limits as 0 and 100 for min and max on both of these. So the idea here is regardless of what your analog input signal is, I'm scaling it or not really scaling it, but setting up limits to be 0 to 100. If I go to display pages here, just quickly to see if things are working correctly, I'm going to go over here to data tags on the right side, and I always do this in class, I always test, I drag these two values on the screen, just so we can see them like so, and I'll put them here on the screen, maybe I'll make them a little bigger, and bold them as well. And then remember, you make the box a little bigger, and you can always right-click on the other one, and you can do copy from, and you can select copy all formatting, and then click on this guy, and that'll copy it over. And then you can right-click on this other one again, and do same size as, and this guy. All right, so let me go ahead and download this to my little HMI here I've got on the table. And I'll go ahead and open up uh, the web browser here. And you'll see I've got a couple analog sensors here connected. If I squeeze the sensors or just move things around a little bit, you can see that the numbers change accordingly. So what we want to do is we want to make a chart that fills up with both of these. So I'll go back here to Grimson. The primitive I'm going to use for the chart is going to be over here in the right hand side. I'm going to go into primitives here and I'm going to go into the core primitives. And in the core primitives, the ones I use a lot in class is the second row from the top over on the left hand side is the rounded rectangle. Click on the rounded rectangle one time and you're going to get all these pre-built colored ones. I'm going to put the oil level on first so I'm going to just grab one of them. I'll just grab a gray one for instance and I'll drag this guy out like this and I'll stretch this guy down here like so, make it a little bigger and then I'm going to double click on this guy to bring up its properties and I'm going to tell this guy to fill from the bottom with the oil level. I'm just going to merely drag the oil level sensor over or oil level tag and drop it right here. Notice it gets the min and max here and I'm going to pick here solid color. This is good. I'm going to choose to fill up with the black color for the oil and then I'll leave the background color maybe a light tone gray for instance like so. I'll go ahead and create that and then I always teach in class that uh, no chart is any good without a scale next to it. So I'm going to go over here to the right side and I'll go up one directory, hit the back button here. One of the real nice primitives we have here in the core primitives is the vertical scale. And I'll drag the vertical scale guy out like this. I'll place it next to that chart and I'll stretch it a little bit here. So it lines up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'll line up the top. This line here I want to line up. Remember if you roll your mouse, you can always zoom in and out. And then I want this guy to always follow kind of my scaling. So if I double click on this thing, and in the config source window right here, I'll just grab the oil level tag and drag it out here. And that way, it's scaling, it's, its limits here will come from that particular tag. So let me test this just to make sure this is working okay. So I'll download this to my guy. <clears throat> Go over here to the web server. And we can see that if I move my oil temperature or my oil sensor you can see it changes correctly and follows up and down. Perfect. So now we're going to do the water one. The water one's a little bit different. I'm basically going to take this current one I have right here. I'm going to right click on this one that's all designed and do a copy and then right click and paste. So I get an exact copy of that guy. I'll move this guy over here. And then I'm going to double click on this one. This one's going to fill up with the water level. So on this guy I'm going to go ahead and drag the water level over here like so, drag it right here, but 
but this one's a little bit different with the water level I'm going to choose to fill from the top and instead of the min and max being like this I'm going to invert this so this is going to become the max and this is going to become the min and then instead of a solid color here I'm going to hit the pull down and tell this particular primitive that you know what I don't want you to fill with the color at all except this color down here I'm going to use blue so it's going to be kind of weird but it's going to come down from the top leaving the blue it's going to look a little weird but this is kind of a facade that we're going to make happen we'll click OK and then I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to move it over this guy like this kind of position it right on top of this unit here and I'm going to right click and make sure that that guy is always in the front you can tell that by going to the arrange and it gives you the move to back options it's already in the front so that's what I want to do all right let me go ahead and download this guy to the screen and let's see what happens all right you can currently see right now that my oil level is at both 20 if I move my oil sensor you can see that the oil level is filling up correctly and if I move the water sensor you can see that it changes correctly as well so if I move the oil sensor higher keep in mind the rule to this whole design is that your oil level is always going to be on top of your water level so if my water level happens to go above this is a could never actually happen in reality because if you look at it right now it's saying the oil level is 43 and the water levels so that's not a possible state given that you have a uh, probe with two sensors so there's the oil level always sitting on top that works perfectly well now if you want to save this as a widget that you could reuse over and over again the easy way to do that guys is to I'll go back here to crimson and if I say if I take this and just move it over a little bit like this if you take your mouse and some of you may have watched my widget videos but I'll show you how to make this a widget if you take your mouse and simply go ahead and encapsulate all of this stuff so you want to get everything together like that once you get it all together you notice I got the red border on here right click on this thing and come down to the bottom and click on widgetize on the widgetize now we're going to do is define some widget items and right here where it says definition edit hit the edit button right here this widget essentially just has two items these two levels so I'll hit edit and I'll say the count is going to be two hit enter now you notice that you're in the section where we're going to be defining the widget what you want to do here folks is you want to make sure that the name category here is spelled the same way it is it over here so I'm going to click on this data here I'll delete that and I'll type oil underscore level capitalization doesn't matter but it does have to be spelled the same way this one here I'll delete it as well whoops and I'll type water underscore level enter don't forget anytime you type in our software hit the enter key and if you want to change the description you can uh, if you delete this well, let me show you something I'll type this is the oil level I need to move my coffee cup it's in my way of typing and then I'll leave I'll delete this one so you can see what the difference is now both of these right now happen to be integer types you can see the X here so I'll hit the pull down here and I'll choose integer integer and since we are only reading reading these values into this widget when we hit the edit button here to define the flag type action these are going to be just a tag we're not writing anything we're just reading them in so I'll say tag and click OK and then I'll click OK again and I'll click OK once again now I've got that thing as a widget and if I just move this whole thing I'll move it over here like this if I want to make another one I simply go over here to the right side oh, actually I need to save this hold on if you click on here go to the organized pull down menu go to the organized pull down so when you got it highlighted the red all the way around it go to save widget and I'll call this uh, I think I have some already but I'll call this my underscore oil water chart I'm calling it my underscore oil underscore water underscore chart enter and now if I go over here to the right side and click on the home directory of my primitives come down here and click on the widgets directory and in the widgets directory I think way down here in the bottom should be my oil chart since I got a bunch of widgets already in here and I simply would just grab this guy out 
and drag it on the screen like this. And if I want to link this to my tags, I simply go right click and go to properties. And I just merely need to grab the oil level, drag it right there, and the water level, and drag it right there. Hit OK, and go ahead and download this to my screen. And let's see how it works. And there you can see as I move my oil level up and down. This one is not working anymore because we widgetized it and it broke the links to the thing, to the real I.O. But this one, we widgetized, we linked it. So you can see it works perfectly well and you can reuse that graphic over and over, which is pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, uh, hopefully uh, that uh, was an instructional video for you. If you got any questions or anything, please uh, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. And uh, thanks a lot for using Redline HMI products. Have a great day.